Good morning guys. Um, it's Monday and I'm back in the gym. Just finished my workout. <sighs> I haven't been in the gym all last week because I was working out from home. But um, I got in, got some cardio in, I think about two miles. And I did uh, some weights of course. And I'm tired, <laughs> but I'm getting ready to ah, get some breakfast in. Got some bananas that have finally ripened. So I'm going to eat, let's see, I have 10 of these, so I'm going to eat these up. So I'm going to have those for breakfast and um, have to meet up with my friend today um, a little bit later. And I'm going to try to take my lunch with me. And it's going to be mangoes. Because I don't know how long I'm going to be there. And I know if I wait too long to come back home and eat, I'll be starving. And just probably eat the first thing that I see. So I'm going to try to chop up the mango and take it with me. So hopefully I can do that. So I need to hurry up and eat breakfast. Um, jump in the shower, get ready, and chop up my mango for lunch and I will check in with you guys later. Hey guys, I'm um, back from meeting up with my friend and I didn't take the mango with me because I was so stuffed from the bananas that I just wasn't hungry and plus I didn't have time to like cut up the mango. So I have them here for lunch. This is like an extra late lunch. I have about six mangoes here. So I'm going to eat these for lunch, grab a fork, and start eating. And, um, see, what else did I want to say? Um, I have some things to show you guys later that I picked up from Whole Foods that I'm excited about. And, um, yeah, I want to show you two of them. I want to show you them now, but I'm hungry now, so... I'll get them out after I eat lunch and um, put like a little display so you can see them. But I'm excited because they're um, new products at Whole Foods, so I'm really glad that they're there. And I'm looking forward to showing you guys, so hopefully if you have a Whole Foods in your area you can check them out. But um, I will check in with you guys later. I'm getting ready to juice. And I have some spinach here, about two big handfuls of spinach. Got um, cucumbers, I just cut them up a bit. Um, there's two, two cucumbers? Yes, two cucumbers. <laughs> uh, four carrots, and I have five nectarines. Hmm, how is this going to come out? I don't know, we'll have to see. So I'm getting ready juice this up. Okay, this is the finished product. Big, big glass of juice. And then there's like some leftover. So I'm going to put this in the fridge. Drink this up. Or I might share with Keon. I don't know. I don't know. This one's alright. I mean, it's not bad, but mm, I don't know. I like my juices a little sweeter, but got some good stuff in there, so I'm going to drink it. And um, once I clean all this up, look, it's such a mess. Once I clean this up, um, then I will show you guys the products that I got from Whole Foods. I'm excited to show you. Look what I found. So this is Beyond Meat's new package chicken strips. And they have, well I picked up Southwest, Southwest style, and grilled. And what makes this so great is that it's already seasoned for you, and it's nice and it's packageable. I mean, packaging is not always great, but this is all packaged up for you. 
And this is great for me because uh, when I used to go to Whole Foods to try to order some Beyond Meat, they didn't have it like this. So I'd have to get it in this big old tub, just bland, no flavoring, nothing, and take it home and try to make my own stuff. But now, I mean, if I don't want to get it just bland, I can get it Southwest style and grilled. They had another one, but I can't remember which one it was. But I might, I wanted to try these first, see how I like them. And then if I, if I like the seasoning, I would try the third one. But look what else I found! You know, eat pastry cookie dough, vegan cookie dough. Um, I usually, um, well I've done a video with the um, vegan peanut butter chocolate chip, my fave. And they finally got, in SoCal, they have their gluten free sugar mama and their gluten free snickerdoodle cookie dough. I'm so excited to try these new flavors. I've been waiting, especially for the Sugar Mama, because I love sugar cookies, to make their way to SoCal, and they're finally here. I've never, I don't think I've tried a Snickerdoodle cookie before, have I? I don't know. I don't know if I have, but I want to try it, so. I'm excited. And if not, I'll just give it to Keon. <laughs> He'll eat it. But um, I want to try these this weekend so I don't get all pigged out. Because I know if I start scooping with my spoon, I won't be able to stop. So I'm going to try some this weekend. I'm going to try the Sugar Mama first because I really, really am hoping that this is so delicious. As delicious as their regular chocolate chip. They have uh, gluten-free peanut butter chocolate chip and my favorite vegan the regular chocolate chip, they have gluten-free chocolate chip, and my favorite is the vegan peanut butter chocolate chip. So delicious. Well, they're all vegan, but peanut butter chocolate chip is my favorite. So I can't wait to try these, and I'm really excited to try these. I'm trying them out tonight. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which ones to try, the grilled or the chicken strips. I mean the <laughs> Southwood style. I don't know. I don't know. I'm leaning towards the grilled. Because I want to put it on top of the salad. But I guess you just have to find out what I make for dinner. But I'm so excited. So, if you can, go to your local Whole Foods. They might have them in a, um, a regular health... They might have them in a different health food store. But if not, check out your Whole Foods. See if they have these all nice seasoned and packaged up for you. The Beyond Meat gluten-free chicken strips. If not, then request them. Because the more you request them, the more you get like your friends and family members to request them at your Whole Foods, then it will draw attention and hopefully it will get there. And check your Whole Foods for, well I don't know if it's made its way past SoCal yet, but just check, you never know, for the Eat Pastry gluten-free sugar mama and the gluten-free snipperdoodle cookie dough. I'm so excited. I'm so excited! <laughs> I will check in with you guys later. Um, I'll probably check in with you guys for dinner to let you know which chicken strip I chose and um, what salad greens I decided to put more on. Bye! Alright, here is, well I went with the, the grilled meat, the grilled Beyond Meat, and grilled it, just heated it up in the pan, because it's already grilled, <laughs> and put this on top of some kale and spinach, and I added um, like a quarter of, well just half of a half, yeah, just um, a quarter of avocado and uh, some cherry tomatoes. And I'm going to add some nutritional yeast. 
some black pepper, and probably some apple cider vinegar. And I will check in with you guys later. Good night.